Welcome to Prospect Manager Training, part three of a five-part series. The purpose of Prospect Manager is that it's a tool to leverage follow-up efforts in order to gain customer advancement. Today, in particular, in part three, we're going to be talking about working a lead card. So, for illustration purposes, we're talking about Deltura Country Club today. When we want to work a lead card, we scroll down to the main database of the landing page of Prospect Manager, where all your green and red flags are. We go over to the far right margin and we open up a lead card. Today we're going to select Judith Woodland. We click View. This opens up the lead card of Judith Woodland. You can see it in totality as I scroll through from top to bottom. That's what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to be going over most of this lead card right now, and I'm going to point out the major highlights. First, the 4-2 selling process Q&A. So in part one, we talked about when you create a lead, you want to strive to complete these questions to the best of your ability. We recognize that these really great sales questions, which is at the core of the 4-2 sales process, are often answered over time as your relationship opens up with the prospect. But certainly by their first visit, you've got all these answered or I should say during that first visit, you've got all these answered. Many of them I think can be obtained through the email and on the phone before their visit, but certainly um, on their very first visit, you've been able to understand their story deep enough so that you can answer these strategic questions. The next area we want to talk about is the source. So we see here the source, which is the marketing source, how they heard about us. In this particular instance, it was determined was from a drive-by. You want to make sure that you're tracking recording the marketing source when you create the lead card. But for reference, if you ever need to go back and say or learn how did they hear about us, this is where you find that out. The next area is prospect urgency, which is identified as A, B, and C. You see here prospect urgency, the field allows you to manipulate as time wears on. So the idea is that this C lead will eventually be improved to an A lead. You want to make sure you're leveraging this filter because as explained in part two of prospect manager, you can organize your entire database by either A, B, or C. And it's a great way to zero in on just your A leads or maybe your C leads or B leads on that particular day. Our next area is target contract date. So the target contract date is found down here. And what we want you to do is mentally anticipate when you want to contract this client to buy a home make a goal it doesn't you know it doesn't have to necessarily always come to fruition but it helps train your mind into that positive thinking and it gives you a target to go for hey I want to put a challenge out to myself that in you know, maybe 45 days from today, I'm going to get a, this thing contracted. So you'd go ahead and you could manipulate that date. The next area is right below it. 4-2 sales formula process analysis upload. So here you, you would be using the 4-2 formula analysis worksheet. And when you complete it, you would upload it to this area so that when you and your manager or the VP of sales and marketing 
uh, discuss this particular lead, you can enhance your understanding of the lead far beyond just these four two questions by uploading the process, the formula process analysis worksheet. And you would do that in this area. And then once you did that, you'd have a button over here that would just say view and you and I or your manager could click on it and we could actually see the worksheet. All right, the next area I wanna highlight is purchase type. So again, in a previous segment, we went over the advantages of identifying what kind of home this client is most interested in. And you could also do that right here. Uh, and you can manipulate this as time wears on. They may go from a broker and then suddenly you've convinced them that a new home is the better route. And you could change that. And then you could reorganize your database searching for just that particular home type or purchase type. Whatever you do here, whenever you manipulate this information, you always want to hit the update button. Don't lose your work, don't rush through this and forget to not update it. You all, if you don't do that, your data will be lost. All right, that concludes our part three, our segment, part three of Prospect Manager Training. Thank you so much.